Hello guys, my name is 7-Eleven, and here we have for you guys my draft recap for this brand new league that I'm in called The Hive. I am in the Weedle League, and um, I drafted pretty well overall in my opinion. Uh, first of all, I was the fifth pick, and uh, by that time, both Mew and Victini were not picked. And I used Mew before, and I know that Mew is really good, but I just I just felt like picking uh, Dratini. Nuke Button Dratini is with the Pittsburgh Thunderbolts, and it has loads of coverage. As you guys know, it has base 100 stats across the board. It can be offensive, it can be defensive, it can be um, it can be. Uh, physical or special or mixed uh, Very good Pokemon. I like to call it nuke button, and so that was my first pick So I know that stealth rock is an issue with nuke button, and so I decided to pick for my next Pokemon Reina Bella, which is Spanish for the pretty queen the Beautiful queen Reina Bella and so, of course, Diane's Sight will always be its item. And 160 attack, 160 special attack, 110 speed. Reina Bella, just coming in, has some pretty decent um, sweeping potential, and that's pretty exciting in and of itself. And so, at this point now, I have two Pokemon that are weak to ground and two Pokemon that are weak to water. So I decided to pick up Mr. Clean, the Rotom Wash, and you guys are pretty well aware of what Mr. Clean Rotom Wash likes to do. Uh, tricking Choice Scarf, or being bulky on the physical side or the special side. It likes to status things, it likes to attack things. Um, Mr. Clean is a pretty good Pokemon all around, and what's really nice is that it's bulky and it resists water and it is neutral to ground. So, or not neutral to ground, it is immune to ground, I should say. So, um, these three, the first three picks were really great. They go fairly well together, and so now it comes to the fourth pick, and I said, you know what? There are so many times I've wanted to use Hitmonlee, and I said, you know, I really, really, really want to use Hitmonlee. So I grabbed Hitmonlee. Uh, so this is going to be Bruce Lee, pretty good with Reckless or Unburdened abilities for the most part. It can run Choice Scarf, it can run Normal Gem, there's lots of stuff it can run. Um, and so it gets a lot of coverage, but it's just it just hits really hard at 120 base attack, 87 base speed is is okay. It's it's kind of decent, but if you were able to double it with Unburden, that would be pretty awesome. Next up, we have Symbiont the Nihilego. Uh, Symbiont because if you go through the missions, um, UB1 is the code name Symbiont and as you guys know 127 special attack hits pretty darn hard and it is a very very good special wall um, gets that pretty awesome beast boost and he's pretty good I mean it can run stealth rock it can be a choice scarf choice specs it can be Life Orb. Um, either way, Symbiont is pretty darn good. And you know what? It's it's a uh, it's an Ultra Beast, and that's pretty great. Now, unfortunately, picking up a Rock Poison type. Now I have two Rock Pokemon. Now I have three Pokemon weak to ground and three Pokemon weak to water. And I don't want to rely on Mr. Clean all the time, so I drafted. Smilax. Smilax a Tangrowth. 
for a really, really quick biology lesson. There are four species of vines that are indigenous to Pennsylvania, meaning before the Europeans came over, this plant was already growing here in Pennsylvania. There are four species of vine. Grapevine, poison ivy, Virginia creeper, and smilax. And I picked the word smilax because A, it's not as well known, and B, because it's gender neutral and I can just run whatever, and C, because smilax is thorny and is a pretty big nuisance whenever you're trying to walk around in the woods and Tangrowth is going to be pretty annoying for all my opponents and that's why I picked Tangrowth. As you guys know, Regenerator is really nice. It gets Synthesis. It gets a lot of pretty good moves like Knock Off and Leech Seed. Um, base 100 HP, 125 Defense, 50 uh, Special Defense. That's still pretty decent. and. I can really make this Pokemon shine because um, using Regenerator into something else to take hits is going to be really nice. Um, it is weak to fire, ice, flying, and bug, and poison. And Mr. Clean is immune to all of those except for bug and poison. So that works out pretty well. And um, Sym Symbiont, of course, is pretty good at eating up um, poison type moves. So that's Smilax for you guys. Next up is the second half of the pick. And I said, you know, I want to drop a little more bulk. And I picked Fat Duck. Fat Duck with Eviolite and Recover um, is going to be pretty good. Of course, the Eviolite gives a plus 1.5 in both defenses. So, um, base 85 HP is okay, but 135 defense and 140 special defense, that is pretty insane. It's able to take a lot of hits and it's going to be able to also be another really annoying Pokemon. It gets Toxic, it gets Thunder Wave, it gets... Um, it gets down load so that I can raise uh, my offensive stats, it gets trace, it gets analytic. Uh, analytic is basically a free life orb if I can be the fastest Pokemon on the field. Trace is pretty awesome as well. So that's the fat duck. Next up, uh, it came around to tier 5. I felt like picking a tier 5 now, and I picked Hermione. Hermione is one of the best tier 5 Pokemon out there. So uh, do you get Trick? I think you get Trick. Yes, you get Trick. Um, you get a lot of offensive moves, you get Dark Pulse, you get Dazzling Gleam, you get Energy Ball, you probably get Psychic. You get Psychic, you get Power Gem, which is really cool, you get Shadow Ball. What is that, um, that fire type move? You get Mystical Fire, which is base 75, so that's better than Hidden Power Fire. And it always lowers the target's special attack by one, so that is pretty darn awesome. Um, Base 105 special defense, it can live a few hits on the special side as long as they're over there. Base 105 special attack is not all that bad. I can be a choice uh, scarf set. I could be a, a substitute nasty plot. Um, you know what I'm saying, guys? Um, Hermione is decent. And so I picked Hermione. And also, in the, in the hive, any Pokemon can use a Z offensive move, but we can only choose one Pokemon to be a Z status move, and I chose Hermione. Uh, it does get Me Memento, it does get Trick, it does get Heal Bell, um, 
So all of those moves are uh, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Next pick, um, there was a lot of stuff that was gone already, and I didn't really want to use this Pokemon for a third time, but it was really coming down to it, and I grabbed Pierre the Smeargle. So Pierre is coming back, and you know what this thing likes to do. Pierre the Smeargle is pretty good with uh, putting things to sleep. He's pretty good at, um, he's pretty good with, you know, a lot of, of other stuff like setting up sticky webs, stealth rock, toxic spikes, that sort of stuff. He can set up a tailwind, he can do parting shot, he can do, um, you know, U-turn for a, for a slow U-turner. Um, typically not very good on offense because, well, base 20. Even with Technician, that's not all that great. So, that's, that's basically all that Pierre does. And next, um, I had a fair number of points left. Left over, I should say. And I, I wanted something... I wanted, I, I wanted a steel type, perhaps, and I was looking around and I said, Scizor is pretty good. So, you know what, I'm gonna grab Scizor. And Scizor is... has no nickname right now, so leave some nickname suggestions down below. Um, no Edward be for Edward Scissorhands, because that's what I named my Kabutops. Um, so, yeah, that's essentially... Um, that pick, I do have um, some pretty good stab priority and bullet punch. Um, you know, I get defog, I get um, I get knockoff, I get uh, roost, I get swords dance, I get toxic. I get a few good moves uh, with Scizor. Um, Scizor does suffer from the four move syndrome. A good bit but uh, you know we'll just have to deal with that as it comes and that's essentially uh, my next to last Pokemon and then finally last Pokemon only 20 points to spend what am I going to uh, what am I going to do what am I going to do I decided to just have fun in YOLO, a meme pick, and I'm I grab my mascot, Magmar. Egg Nanny, the Magmar. I picked the nickname Egg Nanny because um, because whenever I hatch eggs, I need a flame body Pokemon, and Magmar is a pretty good Pokemon to use that with. And so Egg Nanny who is helping me hatch eggs is signed up for the Pitch Pittsburgh Thunderbolts the first season of the Hive. Gets clear smog so that's pretty awesome. Uh, it gets flame charge which is pretty cool. You know it gets flare blitz, it gets uh, lava plume of course, it gets psychic, it gets uh, will-o-wisp, and then um, base 100 special attack, base 93 speed, that's not too terribly bad. Uh, Vital Spirit can be pretty useful, that means that I can switch into a grass type and not be afraid of sleep powder. So that's a thing. And that's essentially my draft guys, so if you, um, if you look back at the rest of my team as a whole, let me make this a little bit bigger. One sec. Oh, you see some blue background. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Okay. If you look at my team, I have one, two Pokemon Week 2 Stealth Rock. And that's just my two fire types on the bookends. 
I have um, not a lot of knockoff switch-ins, so that's not very good. I have um, I have a, a lot of, of grass type weaknesses. I'm sorry, not, not grass. Um, ground type weaknesses. So earthquake is fairly spammable. Um, being able to draft Tangrowth was a godsend, and Rotom was really nice with Levitate, and same with Hermione. And so that's essentially my draft, guys. Um, hopefully that hopefully we can pull out a couple wins and bring home some uh, some victories and. We'll just have a good time if we we'll have a good time trying either way. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, then like this video, comment on this video, share it with your friends, and click subscribe if you haven't already. And on that note, guys, I will see you all later. Peace.